Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with yes, yet another gratitude podcast interview, the pandemic. I'm so enjoying getting to know the uh, tidbits and advice and tips that people are saying around how they're coping with this. And my guest today is a young man I've known young because he's a lot younger than me, uh, a number of years. And I thought it seems like I've just known him a dozen or so years and it's coming up on 20, 25 years. So, but a very good friend of mine, Walt Miller. Walt, welcome to the uh, Gratitude Podcast. Thanks for having me, big guy. You bet, you bet. So let's just dig right in. I've got a handful of questions for you with the idea being how can we take advice or not even as much advice as maybe thoughts that other people are how they're dealing with this and so forth. So question number one, how are you best or what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Well, that's a great question. This week was, a, was an interesting week for me because I had taken, per the governor, he requested we stay home for up until um, a week ago Friday. Mm -hmm. So I thought I wanted to be, try to be a part of the solution. So I did that and I got a lot of stuff done around the house. But I started getting conflicting comments from my customers because I was reaching out to them through text and emails. And some people said they they heard they're, they're real busy and some people say they're not and some people were negative, some people were positive. So I really, for myself, I wanted to go out and try to get a, a feel for what, how, how, it's, how it is out there. And as you know, bud, I'm in, uh, I'm in sales and so I see anywhere from 250 to 400 customers a week. Wow. And, and I was very surprised. Um, I had a lot of people were um, pretty positive. Um, a lot of people were taking a page out of the Brooker catalog and being thankful for what for the, that they've got a job still. Right. So they have work and then they can pay me. I mean, I, mean be, I, I even got a lot of people saying, hey, I'm, I'm glad I can pay you. And I, that made me feel good, you know, that I'm, I'm on their radar. Yeah. So how I'm coping with it is really just I'm trying to sit, trying to, trying to uh, be distant with obviously everyone, trying to be, take care of myself, eat, eat right. Um, and, and again, uh, I've always done this and that's why obviously you and I get along so well. I've always been thankful for what I have being, you know, growing up poor was, was my mom always said, Hey, could be always worse, you know? Yeah. So that's kind of how I'm coping with it. Um, uh, and, and again, I, I was, but I was pleasantly surprised with, uh, with, uh, my customers. So, that's yeah. neat. That's neat to hear. And do you find, speaking of appreciation and thankfulness and of course, gratitude, do you find that, uh, what are you most grateful for today? Is it different than 30 days ago before this uh, happened or is it the same or what's, what's at the top of your list for being grateful for? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know if I have a number one. I know the easy go-to is that, you know, I'm healthy, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I was sharing this with a, a good customer yesterday that um, in December, I haven't had the flu in at least 20 years. I can't remember the last time I had a temperature. Wow. And so in December, um, it was right around the, the holidays, and I woke up one day, it was a, during the week, I felt terrible. And I went and grabbed the thermometer, sure enough, I had 102 temperature. So I was able to get my, myself to the couch, and that was about it. So I stayed in Thursday and Friday, and so um, I, the temperature ended up breaking on, on Saturday. Mm. But my point to this is, um, you know, that was only four months ago. And so... Um, I don't know if I want to go so far to say I might've had the, the coronavirus. I, I don't think right. I did, but because right. I, my, my lungs were fine. But, but my point is I'm just, I'm very blessed to not have all the ailments. A lot of people have, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really that overweight. I could always lose, lose 10 or 15 here and there, whatever, but I, I don't have, uh, I don't have um, uh, any, any health problems related to my body. Um, I, you have some aches and joints, but overall, I'm pretty healthy. So I, I hate to, to sound corny, but I'm, I'm really felt thankful for the, in these times for my health. Really, well, and I, I so, don't think, certainly don't think it's corny. And I know what you're saying, but it's the go-to thing. That, as we know, without our health, what do we have? So yeah, you can certainly see that uh, that probably should be number one on most people's list. But there's many things that uh, can fill that slot too. Yes. So being somebody I know as well as I know you, and and the way you approach things, we talk about we're both OCD and and pretty picky about things. We're always on time or whatever it might be. What sort of thoughts or ideas would you have for somebody that is housebound now about maybe some of the things they can be doing uh, because we're not able to go out and about? Yeah. Well, one thing that I try to do, I'm probably not the, the best example, but I try to, um, to help someone. Mm. It would be a neighbor, a friend if possible. My son recently, I said, hey, you know, if you need something, don't hesitate. Uh, if I'm going to the store, I'll, I'll, I'll call my neighbor Rick across the street. Uh, my, my neighbors, Chris and um, Donna, if they need something, even though they're not elderly, I'm not elderly, they're, they're in their fifties, but, mm -hmm. but, um, 
And probably most important, what I would really say to your audience, and I've tried to start doing this, is, is try, try to be the highlight of somebody's day. Oh, that's nice. And just, and just you know, whether it be uh, someone you hadn't seen in a while, say, God, you look great, or, or whatever, just, just a happy voice. Mm-hmm. And sometimes just hearing that can make somebody's day. And because we have so much negativity through, the, obviously, the news and, and just the uncertainty of where we're going with this thing. Yeah. So I, I try to, and I've always done that with business, as, as you and I know, because we met that way through business. And uh, again, I, I'll never forget that day I walked into that office of yours and, and we started talking about life. We didn't even talk about the reason I was there. We talked about everything, right. but, but the reason I was supposed to be there, which was for tools. That's right. So, so I, I would say that that would be the one approach, I think, you know, for your audience, that I, I, I try to take and I would recommend they do the same. I really like that. It's another reason why I'm so happy to be doing these and sending them out to the people that might find a, a nugget here and there is, is to be the highlight in some of these days. Absolutely. Might be on too. So when you think about, again, you maybe not have been impacted by this as much, bud, as maybe some other people, but the people that are really totally shuttered in, what's your thoughts or I, I don't like the word advice, but maybe uh, thoughts and, and ideas around how somebody can hit the ground running when this thing ends because we don't know when it's going to end but we do know one thing it is going to end i mean this is yeah. going to be behind us and it'll be the shelter in place will be gone the uh the vaccine will be found or whatever it might be but what's your best uh, maybe comments or thoughts around how you tell somebody to how they should be ready to hit the ground running when this thing is done well i'll tell you that's a great question because it's been on my mind a lot through the last couple of weeks and um one thing that I would really recommend everyone do is you got to start thinking outside the box mm. because, mm-hmm. and you may need to take some chances because granted we, we have no idea when the end is, is if hopefully there will be an end. But um, for a lot of people, you know, I know I was talking to my sister this morning and her daughter, which is my niece, you know, is unemployed and mm-hmm. she's, um, she is having to deliver food from grocery stores. Okay. Wow. Um, and I know she's not proud to say she's doing that, but she's making a buck. That's yeah. all that matters. You know, she's trying to just, just to, to provide. And so I guess the, and the other thing that I'd really recommend, and, and you and I are, are always you know, bouncing ideas off each other. If you really don't know what to do, ask, mm-hmm. get advice mm-hmm. and get advice from somebody you, you either look up to or you think would give you good advice. Because I think that you and I, as long as we've known each other, if we're struggling with something and that we really kind of knocked our brain about, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to get Dave Brooks opinion. Oh, and, advice. and so I would say that that's something that I think people should take that approach. And so when things are, are ready to go back, if we're going to have a normal in our life, that they have a, a plan, an idea and something that they can go after and, and hopefully, hopefully get turned around financially and, and emotionally. So, yeah, that's, that's a great comment. And I think back on that line, I forget who said it, but if you want to uh, achieve something, look at somebody who's getting the results that you want to get and do what they do. Absolutely. You know, it's kind of yeah. like the people that tell me about speaking, well, you should do this. And I go, I'm sorry, are you a speaker? Oh, that's right. <laughs> fine. But thanks anyway. So, but anyway, yeah. okay. So last question, great comments, bud. Uh, gra- last question. Do you have a kind of a quote or philosophy or sort of a, just the way that you approach things is kind of your mantra, if you will, that's overarching and everything that you do, that you look to for certainly through times like this. Yeah, I do. And there, there's some of them are corny. Some of them are, are, are ones that I've, just, I've loved over the years. One of them is uh, your raise becomes effective when you do. So I always want to be effective mm-hmm. with whatever I do. I like that. Be pers- personally or professionally. Um, you know, I, it's a, another one that's always, always loved is, is one team, one direction. You know, that's, mm-hmm. if, you, mm-hmm. if you have that philosophy, you're going to accomplish some things. Yeah, and um, and probably most important, I mentioned I mentioned it earlier, and and I started really doing this some years back. But um, Monday morning, when you wake up, and you see your first customer, or you see your first client, whatever you may maybe be the highlight of their day. Yeah, you know, That's have a smile time. on your face. You know, be be engaging, and, and 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 don't be afraid to throw out compliments here and there. You know, and and don't don't be fake. But uh, when you leave, make, make make your stamp on on that on that on that moment. That's and and because if you can do that, then you're gonna that person's gonna think about you all week. Yeah. Say, boy, it was sure nice to see Walt that day, or my or Dave, or whoever. Yeah. And so and so I'm not like as they say. I know some people it's easier for than others, like you and I. We're, we're people, people. Right. But um, but but it's easy. It's easy to smile. Just smile. Yeah. How you doing? You know, and that's easy. So give someone your smile. 
I like that. And it's such a great point too. I will go through my life with many questions about uh, things that I'm not going to get an answer for. And, and one of them is, is why are there certain people that are so positive and other ones that are so negative? Yeah. And it, it doesn't always go back to the circumstances too. I've seen people yeah. absolutely the same circumstances. One is the glass half full and one is half empty. So yeah. always be something that's baffling to me, but uh, yeah. I like that being the highlight. Somebody say, that's a great, yeah. that's a great yeah. bit too. So yeah. thanks. Well, thank you, my friend. I so appreciate yes. you being on the podcast and Definitely. we will chat soon. Yes, we will. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, bud. Okay.